I just want to start this video by saying that I'm very motivated to start coding at the moment. Um, I've had some certain health issues over the past few months and basically I'm no longer able to do the job that I've been doing for the past 10 years. During that time I was working as a videographer uh, for events and also for promotional videos, that kind of thing. And I was working, you know, on my feet pretty much all day running with a camera. And now that I have, um, you know, the need really to find a new career. Uh, so I decided, you know, let's, uh, let's just, uh, learn to code. So, yeah, so I just want to give you a, a few reasons why I want to get into coding. The first reason is I've watched success stories of people like me who are age 31, um, have been able to learn uh, coding and then just pivot their career and find success in a different career, a whole new career. Another thing that I would say is motivating me is since high tech in general and especially programming and uh, software development, uh, computer science, I really believe this the industry of the future. I think that if I want to leave a lasting impact in the world, it, it's probably most likely going to have to be through technology. It's the way that the future generations are going to relate to each other in their uh, you know, day to day lives. I mean, we already use technology pretty much all day. There's many people around the world who are living connected to technology all day, every day. Uh, I think technology is a great tool, but it, it has, it's almost like a double edged sword. And I believe that it's very important that good people are in take charge, take responsibility to create you know, healthy technology for the next generations moving forward. Another reason why I want to get into programming is because I think it's just another outlet. It definitely provide, it would provide me another outlet to be creative, to create things. And as someone who has been creating videos for the past 10 years, I'm definitely very creative and I would definitely want to be in a career that will allow me to be creative. Now, all that said, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for myself. I know that's going to be very hard. I've already tried to code previously. I tried doing uh, CS50. I believe it was the introductory course to computer science taught at Harvard. And it was quite challenging. I actually ended up quitting because it was just too much material that I didn't understand. It was very overwhelming. And at the same time, I was juggling a lot of customers at the time in my business. So I really didn't have the time. So I know that it... It's going to get hard and I know that I'm going to be in the same point it was back when I was doing 650. I know that I'm going to be uh, reaching a point that I'm going to be overwhelmed and it's going to be very stressful. And it's going to be very hard, but I'm definitely willing this time to push through now that I've, you know, have other tools at my hand that I know of, such as the community, such as looking out for mentors. And so since I know it's going to be hard, this is exactly why I am documenting it. This is why I'm making this video blog and hopefully I'm looking forward to as often as possible to put a video out on this channel. Every time I make some progress, I'm going to update every I'm going to update on this channel. I saw on a different YouTube channel. There was this guy, there was a guy who was trying to start, who was also starting to code and he was posting regularly about his progress. And eventually he got a job in high tech and the reason why the recruiter hired him is because the recruiter was watching his YouTube videos. Okay, so how am I starting to code? So the first thing I did is I found this website called Microverse. They are an online bootcamp. I tried to apply to their program, but they would only accept applications from people that already have a fair amount of coding experience. And well, okay, fine. So I thought to myself, okay, so what should I do now? I kept looking on their website and I found that they have already a curriculum for people to go through. And they say that if you go through the whole curriculum, then you can apply to the program. So yeah, I'm just, I'm going to share with you now what I've learned so far, uh, so far in the first, uh, in the first day that I've been uh, coding. So the first thing they did is they referred me to the Odin project, which is a free tool. So I'm just going through there and the first few lessons, they're talking about the whole concept of mindset. And I thought that was fairly interesting because they don't jump into coding right away. They first try to lay the foundations for people to succeed coding. And the first, uh, the first uh, mindset is a fix, which is when you try something hard and you, just, you don't succeed, you tend to quit. Uh, and their goal is to get people from the fixed mindset into the growth mindset, which is, you know, if you can't do something on the first try, don't quit. And the way that they don't want, the way the way that they they're trying to you know help you to to stay in the game and not quit is 
the saying make sure that you find other people to you know join a community again going back to the not doing things alone join the community ask for help find other resources use google all these things there's always another way to do things in coding nothing is linear everything is sort of fragmented and you're just trying to put all the pieces together and, and, and that's actually that's actually turns out for the better because it's easier to find resources online you can use all kinds of resources to do what you're trying to do so yeah that's the main thing i learned just uh, you know going from the fixed mindset to the growth mindset the second thing that i learned about was time management e every uh free time that i have these days i'm not gonna go on youtube and watch another video instead i'm gonna go on the odin project i'm gonna go on microverse and i'm gonna work on the curriculum and i'm gonna learn coding um, so that's the main takeaway that I took from it. I'm going to link again down here the, the whole article about time management for them, if it's going to help you they have a whole different techniques. And I think that you should read the article for yourself because I just read the article and applied it to my life, to my own, and my, to my own personal situation, but I'm sure everyone is different. So over there, you can see all the different tools that they have. They have tools even that it's, that you can sign up for and you can work remotely with other people uh, on your homework, on your lessons. You know, it's, it's really the whole idea again of not doing thing time management is not doing things by yourself, trying to find other people to do things with. So, you know, you stay committed and also the whole concept of distract managing your distractions and just not becoming distracted by things online not posting nothing just sit and work uh, another thing that they talk about which i thought was fairly interesting uh was comparing yourself to others so that's another thing that i learned also it's very over it's extremely overwhelming for me right now to watch any videos online about other the other coders talk because when i see what they're talking about i don't even understand what they're talking about when i see the screenshots of their computers i have no idea what's going on over there and it looks super overwhelming so another thing that they're actually recommending is that you don't you block all those things out just do not compare yourself to others you know if you're going to see other people coding if you're going to talk to other developers you know that's awesome they're on their level and they got they didn't get there for free it took them a long time to get there but they got there they weren't born with that knowledge and so can i so can you you know we can also learn how to code we can also get to a very high level at one point someday hopefully and it's possible it's reachable so the main thing that they're saying is do not compare yourselves to others you should only compare yourself to yourself how am i doing today and am i today am i doing better than yesterday and i think that's the main takeaway for me i feel like every day i'm making small improvements and i think that's the way to go and that's the way to do it uh, so yeah, that's it. I just wanted to, before we finish this video, uh, I just wanted to conclude with a few of the things that I've already learned so far uh, in terms of coding on my first day. I learned about how to use a terminal, which is an app uh, I had never used before. Uh, I mean, obviously, other than the time I was taking CS50, but I never, ever used terminal ever again. And it's been actually fairly easy to use and i almost prefer using it to using the uh, regular way of moving files and fo folders on the computer it's it feels it just feels like it's a bit faster just to be able to copy paste things in there and you know make files delete files move files this is very cool stuff uh so yeah I'm, i was impressed that i was able to a little bit more or less know my way around there uh, the second thing that i learned uh i also learned uh, about uh, git and github and the whole concept of version control, which made a lot of sense to me uh, because, you know, as someone who has been editing videos for a very long time, I know it is to have multiple files of like different versions of the same file and then not knowing which one you're working on, and making the whole thing very confusing. So I thought that was very cool, the whole uh, Git and GitHub. And I even learned how to use it, how to create a repository. It's very cool stuff. Um, which, you know, at this point, I'm like super impressed with myself already that I can even know what these things are and how to use them. And, and yeah, those are, those are the main two things that I learned in the first lesson. Uh, you know, technical things, obviously, the, less, the, the lesson was pretty much 50%, just the whole foundation, the men, uh, you know, the whole outlook and the whole uh, mentality of coding, all these different things. And the other half was more technical, you know, learning terminal, learning Git and GitHub and creating my repository so now i have a github uh, repository in online and you guys can follow it i'll link it at the bottom here you can follow uh, my github and see the projects that i'm making as i as i make them and what i did also during these during these lessons was like type out my own notes of the lessons so i actually typed out a few of the terminal of the shortcuts that i learned for using with terminal 
and a few of the shortcuts that I learned fusing with the Git. They're very simple and they're very basic. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to be like linking, linking them at the bottom here. Basically, everything that I spoke about on this video, I've made a bit of like a, a source sheet for all the things that I learned and all the resources and all the and I even, I'm going to link also um, the resources for the curriculum, you know, the microverse, um, the uh, Odin project, uh, free code camp and also the Reddit forum, which uh, has a very cool story of a guy who's 32 years old and managed to change his life around after uh, a few months of coding he managed to get a job in high tech very very inspiring so i'm going to link everything at the bottom here and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video with more learning more growth thank you for watching guys and i wish you i wish you all success in your career endeavors all the best